former vice president of the United States, Mike Pence, delivered his strongest rebuke to date of former President Trump. Pence contradicted the big lie and said he was proud of what he did on January 6th, allowing the election results to be certified. Now, there are those in our party who believe that in my position as presiding officer over the joint session, that I possess the authority to reject or return electoral votes certified by the states. But the Constitution provides the Vice President with no such authority. There's almost no idea more un-American than the notion that any one person could choose the American President. CNN's Whitney Weil joins us now with more. That last sentence there is sort of the harshest thing Mike Pence has ever said notably, about Donald Trump. Notably, did not say his name. Right. Trying to thread a very tough needle here this morning. Uh, this Republican politician pushing back against the base, pushing back against the president, former president himself. And that's exactly what former Vice President Mike Pence did yesterday. Speaking at the Reagan Presidential Library, Pence told the crowd he will always be proud of his role in affirming the election results on January 6th that followed the deadly riot of Trump supporters at the U.S. Capitol. He even called the effort to decertify the election, quote, un-American. His commitment to the truth enraged Capitol rioters who chanted, hang Mike, P Mike Pence for failing to perpetuate the big lie. Former President Trump has continued to spread the lie that he somehow won the election. We know, we've said it a million times at this point, he did not win that election. Take a listen to what else Pence said. I understand the disappointment many feel about the last election. But you know, there's more at stake than our party and our political fortunes in this moment. If we lose faith in the Constitution, we won't just lose elections. We'll lose our country. He didn't address President Trump by name, but still tried to identify himself with the Trump administration's agenda, particularly on immigration, border control, and trade. Again, I cannot stress enough how rare it is for Pence to contradict President Trump. This is the first time we've seen anything even remotely close to this, and it's pretty much the only clear break he has had with the president he loyally served for four years. But he's trying to have it all ways. He is. I mean, I have a few things to say about Mike Pence. Number one, um, you know, Mike Pence sat by quietly mm -hmm while the former president lied about the election for two months after the November election, right? So Mike Pence did the bare minimum that he could do not to overthrow the government and basically throw out the Constitution. And he gets credit for that. He gets credit for being able to read the Constitution and understand what it clearly says the vice president's role is that day. So credit to him for that, not for the profile and courage that he sort of, I think, is trying to claim here. The other thing is, I don't know that there's a needle of thread for Mike Pence okay. at this point, yeah. right? I mean, I just don't know what on earth he can do that would ingratiate himself with the Trump people. There's just no space for him there in that. Maybe I'm wrong. There's no, there's no gray area anymore. I mean, it, right. you know, they, they want to live in an alternate reality, and there's uh, no, no gradation between that and this reality, which is where we all live, where the rest of us live. I think that's completely true when you're talking about Republicans who have their eyes on a political future and perhaps a run for the presidency. Mm -hmm. They aren't trying to, as, as you said, it is threading a needle, but like it is a needle that doesn't exist. And I wonder, you know, what is Pence doing here? Is this the long game of he's trying to promote kind of conservative principles, like mm -hmm. traditional conservative mm -hmm. principles and priorities, and then he's taking what is really like, I mean, yeah, he's contradicting Trump, but this is not full-throated contradiction. Right. This is just sort of lightly disagreeing, and he has to mm -hmm. because he did proceed, as one does, with accepting those certified results, right? Yeah, I mean, again, he did choose to say this at the Reagan Library yesterday, so yeah. this is a thing. I mean, he sure. did take a stand. I, I'm curious to see if he says this again. I'm curious to see if he does a Constitution tour where he goes and educates Trump supporters about what actually happened, why he did what he did. Um, we'll see. Notable moment, to be sure. Yeah, a lot of time left. Until he, <laughs> I guess, if he really does want to make a run for it, he's got plenty of time to figure it out. Maybe he's playing a long game that we don't see. Yes. I don't know. Whitney, we'll thank see. you so much. You bet.